Good morning, he said at last he meant The conversation was at an end What a lot of things you use good morning for To think I should be good mornings if I was selling buns at the door Mr. Bilbo Baggins I know your name You know mine too But you didn't remember when I came I am Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. Gandalf, said Bilbo, good gracious me. Not the wandering wizard, it can't be. Oh, old Took used to have your splendid fireworks on Midsummer's Eve. I beg your pardon, I had no idea you were still in business. Where else should I be? Where else should I be? The wizard said Where else should I be? All the same, I'm glad to see you remember something about me I will give you what you asked for uh, I beg your pardon, I haven't asked for anything Oh yes you have, twice now, my pardon And I give it to you, I will go as far as to send you on this adventure uh, no thank you. We don't want any adventures. Not today. Good morning. But please, come to tea. Anytime you like. Why not tomorrow? Come tomorrow. Goodbye. What did I go and invite him to tea for? Does he remember? Remembering things wasn't easy for Baggins unless he put them down on his engagement tablet. Like this, Gandalf T. Wednesday. He was too flustered to do anything of the kind yesterday. Just before tea time, there came a tremendous ring on his front doorbell. Then he remembered everything. He rushed and put out another cup of tea. An extra cake or two ran to the door. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, he was going to say. When he saw it was not Gandalf standing in the doorway. It was a dwarf with a dark green hood Dwallin' at your service, he said And hung up his cloak as one would if he had been expected Too surprised to ask questions Bilbo Baggins at yours, said the hobbit Quite perplexed A short while later, another ring at the bell So you've gotten here at last The little hobbit was about to tell Gandalf this time But it wasn't him Instead it was an old looking door from Caverns Dim Then the bell rang again And again Soon Bilbo found himself hosting nine dwarves that he didn't know in the slightest. The dwarves ate and ate and talked and talked and time got on. Then Bilbo heard another sound coming from the door. Bilbo rushed to the door and flung it open and in fell four more dwarves. Thorin was chief among them. And behind them was the familiar face of Gandalf. Quite a merry gathering, he said. After all the dwarves and Gandalf had ate, nearly all the food in Bilbo's pantry was gone. Then the dwarves began to sing a song. Chip the glasses, crack the plates, blunt the knives and bend the forks. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. Smash the bottles and burn the corks. Cut the cloth and tread on the fire. Pour the milk on the pantry floor. Leave the bones on the bedroom mat. Splash the wine on every door. Dump the crocs in a boiling bowl. Pound them up with a thumping pole When they're finished, if any are whole Send them down the hall to roll That's what Bilbo Baggins hates 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 So care Carefully with the plays. As the twelve dwarfs sang and cleaned up, not Thorin, he was far too important and stayed talking to Gandalf. 
Of course, they did none of the dreadful things they sang about. Then, when everything was clean and put away safe, Thorin said, Now for some real music. Bring out the instruments. At this moment, Bilbo was really flustered. He didn't know what to do. But he tried to act as polite as he could. When we get there, we'll disappear. Far over the misty mountains, cold to dungeons deep, and the caverns old, we must away at a break of day. Seek the pale enchanted gold The doors of yore made mighty spells Will hammers fell like ringing bells In places deep where dark things sleep In hollow halls beneath the fells For ancient king Elvish Lord, the many a gleaming golden horn. They shaped and wrought, and like they caught to hide in gems on hilt of sword. As the dwarf sing, the hobbit feels love for beautiful things. The hobbit feels love for beautiful things. On silver necklaces, they strung. Flowering stars, and crowns they hung, a dragon's fire in twisted wire. They match the light of moon and sun far over the misty mountains, cold and under deep in the caverns. Old. We must away. And go goblets they carve there for themselves and harps of gold where no man tells there lay they long many a song was sung unheard by men or elves the pines were roaring were moaning in the night. A fire was red, it flaming spread. The trees like torches blaze with light. The bells were ringing in the dale. The men looked up with faces pale. Dragon's ire, more fierce than fire. They low their towers and houses frail as the dwarf sing. The hobbit feels love for beautiful things. The hobbit feels love for beautiful things. And then something tiggish wakes up in him, and he wants to see the caverns dim. And he wants to see the great mountains Hear the pine trees and the waterfalls He just wants to hear and see it all Then he thinks of plundering dragons Settling on his quiet hill He shudders and very quickly He is plain Mr. Baggins of Baggins I'm
smoked beneath the moon. The dwarves, they heard the tramp of doom. They fled their hall to die in fall. Beneath his feet, beneath the moon, far over the misty mountains grim, to dungeons deep and the caverns dim. Oh, he must away. That song in his head It gave him uncomfortable dreams As he lay there in his bed It was long after The break of day When Bilbo Baggins woke up Beneath the moon, the dwarves they heard the tramp of doom. They fled their halls and died fall beneath. 